Alright, so this is just going to be kind of a little sneak peek at this new Siren project I've been working on. This is basically going to be a small but fully functional rotating tornado siren. The insides there are just pretty much the same as that red and green siren I made a while ago, but I changed them a little bit. The reason these parts here are orange but everything else is a different color is because this part is actually made of pet G. I wanted to make it out of something really strong so it doesn't like fly apart because that motor in there is rated at like 15,000 RPM, which is pretty fast. This thing is already quite loud, and I'm not going to run it up to full speed in here, obviously, because it's incredibly loud, but even at a low speed run, you should be able to hear how loud it is. So I'll just hook it up here. Here we go. That is really loud. And I'm not going to run it up to full speed in here because I have no hearing protection and it's already quite painful even when I just did that. So anyways, for the rest of the siren, I'm just going to show what it's made of. So first of all, I'll unhook that. This part here is the collector rings. These are actually meant for like DIY wind turbines and stuff like that. I just found these on Amazon and they're rated for like 30 amps, so I'm not too concerned about them catching fire or anything. This down here is just a small robotics motor that it fits in this space here, and once the siren is done, I'm just going to have a big gear here and then a small one here. One thing I'm worried about is that this motor might not be strong enough to like rotate it in heavy winds or something, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Underneath there is just a 4-inch Lazy Susan bearing. I'll lift it up so you can kind of see it. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you can see there's a Lazy Susan bearing down there. And this is just the bottom of the rotator box. And this right here is a size 775 motor. This one's rated at about 150 watts and 15,000 RPM, so that equates to about 6, no, 0.6 horsepower, which is pretty powerful for its size. So yeah, anyways, I'm hoping that once this project is done, it's going to achieve at least like 115 dB at like um, 10 feet, so we'll find out eventually though. And I'm also printing the rest of the horn in there. I'm not sure you can really see that or not. I'll set them up. But yeah, this horn when it's done is going to be about um, 8 inches long, so when you visualize that added to the end of this, it's going to stick out to around here, and it's going to look similar to like a P10 or P15. I'm really hoping it's going to be loud though, because the siren design, the rotor and stator I've used, is already really loud, and when it's directed like this, I'm just hoping it's going to be like really powerful for its size. I am probably going to end up putting this outside, and... I'm hoping this material I used will stand up to the weather. It's just like this stuff called PLA Plus, made by this company called Mad Maker. I have a spool of it here, and I'm hoping I don't run out. I'll just try to show the tag. I need to forget it. But yeah, I'll post a link in the description to that stuff. It is really good stuff, but I did have to change up my stock hot end for an E3D V6, which you can kind of see in here, because it was clogging up constantly with the original hot end. But yeah, it prints really nicely, and it seems quite strong, too. I also did a weather test on, like, a failed print I had outside, and it didn't show any signs of wear, so yeah. So that's it about it for now, so I'm just going to keep working on this when I have the time, and hopefully it's going to be done soon. And once it's done, I do plan on putting it up outside, like, maybe on a swing set or something, just to give it a test out there. It should be quite loud, even outside, because the omnidirectional version of this I made already is quite loud and can be heard from about a block away, so... It'll be interesting to see how that turns out. I'll just show one last look in there. So you can see how it's orange, and it doesn't really kind of pair well with the rest of the colors on here, like the black, yellow, and red, but you won't be able to really see it when it's done. So that's about it for now, so please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're into that sort of stuff. <laughs> Alright.